All right, I see you clicked on an, um, another dragon video, huh? Or maybe not another one, maybe this is your first one. Maybe you're like, this is the character I care about. I want to see an you know, solo dragon. But I appreciate that you chose to click this video. And uh, feel free to check out any other videos. Ha 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 ha. But anyway, here we go. So, this is what I'm taking into the jungle. Because I don't play novelists. So, I'm like, uh, what do you take? I don't know. So, I'm going to do it this way. Attack speed, armor. And then, of course, I'm sticking with this new profound second wind fiasco. That's, I'm loving and blah, blah. Alright, so of course, as I explained in the, the last couple of videos, after realizing how beneficial Second Wind is with a health pot, it's allowing me to solo dragon with a bunch of champs that I just thought couldn't be done. So it's pretty darn cool. And the plus side is, if the, if the jungler is known to be a tank, then that's the benefit. The fact that you can, um, you can run this defensive page. But if you know, if, if, if it um, if it's too much, it's like a lot of times your runes and your items, or not even your items, your items really, you know, say who you, what kind of character you're playing during the game. Really, like your runes and masteries are for your early game, your laning phase, your blah blah. But um, late game is about those items and what you do with those items. I mean, I know there has to be a, a few of you guys out there, at least a few of you guys out there. That has um, played a match where you had the wrong room page and the wrong masteries because you had just played the game of ARAM or something, and you're like, "Dag, I forgot to change my page," or even vice versa, right? You played something this rip, you go to ARAM, like, "Ah, I forgot to change my page." Whatever the case may be, you go in now, you're playing with the wrong stuff, and you're just farming, you're trying to farm your best because you know it, it dampered with your early game, so <laughs> you're doing your best, and then you bought your BF sword or whatever, you know. Depending on whatever character you're using, you bought you bought the um, needlessly large ride you know, or something, you know, and now you're playing regular again. Now it's like you're you know, hey, could you believe I had the wrong wounds and masteries? Ha 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 ha, you know, something like that. So in other words, you can run this if you want, if you feel comfortable. You can definitely run this setup, and you can, yeah, if you feel comfortable, you could definitely run this setup, and um. You know, use it to your liking. Use it to whatever champs you want to use it with. And if you don't like this setup, then, well, you know, it doesn't matter. Because these videos are all more about proof of concept. Like, hey, look, this character can do this. You know? So, mind you, the, the scenario, the, like, the setups I come up with are done because I'm doing this by myself. I'm spawning on blue side. I'm, you know, uh... Doing this, no leash, no other champs, no nothing. I I can't stress that enough. How if you look at this and you're like, oh god, you can't really use this in a real match, or well, pretty much it is kind of set up so you could use it in a real match if you just don't feel comfortable with anything that you came up with. But honestly, if you do use it in a real match, you're gonna have somebody who can leash you. You're gonna have more health. And jungling is just going to be easier because you have more health. You went to the fight with Dragon with more health, and you uh, continue to solo creeps with more health. And, you know, long story short, you're going to see a, a, a benefit out of it all. Okay, so um, hopefully you understand that, and hopefully you also understand that it, it does matter what side you spawn. Because for some champs, right after getting blue, Running straight to dragon. If I spawn red and I go straight to dragon, saves me time. And, um, you know, the quicker I get it, the better. And not only that, but because let's say if I spawn, uh, if I spawn red and I go for blue, uh, then um, I got the support and the ADC leashing me. And that's like a real big benefit. You know? Oh, come on, I hate that. Boom, get out of here. So yeah, that's a really huge benefit. You have two champs to give you a hard leash. And, you know, in the end, it's going to allow, really allow you to go to Dragon with all that health. Save your smite, all that good stuff. Right now, I'm trying to do this smite list. Because my goal is to have two smites at Dragon. And to, like, start the Dragon buff 
I mean, I said dragon, but I'm sorry, I'm messing up. To start the dragon with um, a smite. Because you know, I don't have no range move, yada yada. So I'm going to smite right away. So that way, because I got two charges, I can't hold no more. I'm going to smite right away. And it's going to allow the, the, the timer for the next smite. And then I get to do this. And now I start fighting dragon. So thanks to that, now the timer, the countdown goes for the next smite. I just gotta be mindful of my health. I'll take one more blast. Okay, so I just activated the health pot. Have the second wind kicking in. And you see, thanks to that blast armor, I'm gaining full benefits from the second win. Like I'm getting more of the benefits off of it. So that makes me happy. There we go. Oh. Let me go do grumps. I, I don't know if you feel comfortable taking this path, but it, it ain't normally dangerous. I mean most that there'll be is a ward if you walk by you might spook them. Smite it real quick so I can get the stun. Want to kill this guy as soon as possible. Get him off the picture. Okay, so I would go into W again. Gain extra off the W. Let's see. This would be the smarter move. I know it takes like a little time consuming. But, um, you know, being able to. Because you can fight red, right? Right now, if you want. But, like I said, I'm not pro. Well, first time, like, not first time knowledge, but I'm playing it safe. <laughs> Point of these videos safe way to get these dragons and stuff so doing it this way I'm trying to let my smite come back so I can smite it and gain some health even though I do have the health pot alright if I was better I probably wouldn't even use that uh, W but I just use it but um, yeah, I'm not trying to beat myself up. I'm just trying to let you guys know that don't don't see my failures as a way to say that this <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Cause it, I mean, you clearly see it's working. If I just did it better, you know, uh, there will be better uh, results out of it all. Now I just beat this little guy up. No big deal. What the hell's going on? Probably got some weird lag going on. Oh, did I lose the? Oh, I lost the. Um, okay, I thought it was like lag or something. Okay, I'm level 4. Okay, in the event that you're a novelist, I would gank at this level. I'm just going to start Q. You know, you just beat this thing up. So yeah, let's say, hey, I'm a novelist. I'm going to go gank now. This is pretty good enough health to gank if you're a pro at it. And then you just be like, wee. And then, you know, start beating the guy up. So, okay, you be from here, you buy your items, you keep jungling. I still got the health pot, as you see. Um, look at all that sexy health bar, you know, and like, and you saw my room page. My room page was a tax speed. Like, I, I, noticing this, that it scales with extra health and stuff. If I went health quints and stuff like that, you know how much more beneficial this armor would have been, you know? <laughs> so, and um, this is magic damage and... So however you want to take Nautilus into the jungle, just understand, you see my setups, you see what I'm going with? You'll probably do 10 times better, because not only you know the character, but um, like I said, these are more proof of concepts. So it's, it even like strengthens the fact that this is possible, because I'm going pretty much with a shitty room page. It's just attack speed, and I doubt you, know, you, you should take attack speed into the jungle or anywhere with Nautilus. 
Like, I, I, I mean, unless you're just pro like that, you want to get some uh, Phantom Dancers and stuff and start critting, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> you know, go to Jungle with the more correct, accurate rune page and blah, blah, and you see yourself succeed. But, you know, that's enough. You guys got the point. I feel you guys got the point. I really appreciate anybody that chooses to click and watch these videos. Um, thank you. And feel free to watch. Uh, I got a playlist of this. Check the channel. Feel free to see if there's any champs that you're interested in and curious in. Um, stuff like that. And uh, there'll be, there will be more. There will be more. Until I just can't find another champ that can do this. And by that time, I guess Riot would have patched the game. And that means I'll have to technically try to do this all over again just to make sure that um, it still works and it's still viable in the next patch, you know, because that's how we do. We have to be accurate. We have to, you know, make sure things are still viable, right? You know, you guys know the deal. Okay, thank, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you later. Peace.